Hi, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use 4K60S Plus in standalone mode. 4K60S Plus is the latest capture card from Elgato, and is the world's first USB 3.0 capture card capable of 4K60 HDR capture. One of the biggest features of 4K60S Plus is the ability to record footage directly to an SD card, no computer necessary, and to do so is extremely easy. First, you simply connect the 4K60S Plus to your source of choice and your monitor via HDMI. Then, you simply want to make sure you don't have the 4K60S Plus connected to your PC via USB. You just plug it into the wall for power. Then, you need to plug in an SD card that's formatted in either XFAT or FAT32. Keep in mind, if your SD card is in FAT32, the files will be split up every 4 gigabytes. As far as SD card compatibility goes, make sure it's an SDXC card rated for U3 or V30 to properly work with 4K60S Plus. After you've used an SD card with 4K60S Plus, it creates a settings file on the SD card. Now, when you open this settings file, you can change a lot of different things. Here's a quick list of the different settings you can change in this settings file, but for most people, the bitrate is the most important one, because 4K60S Plus can record in different bitrates, and so if you change this value here, you set the bitrate that you're recording to. A written guide for 4K60S Plus settings will also be linked in the description panel. As far as resolution and dynamic range go, 4K60S Plus will simply pass through and capture what you give it. If your console is outputting 4K60 HDR, 4K60S Plus will record 4K60 HDR. If your console is outputting 1080p60 SDR, 4K60S Plus will record, you guessed it, 1080p60 SDR. When you're fully set up, when the recording button LED is glowing solid red, you're ready to press it and start recording. Once you're done with your gameplay, press the button again to stop the recording. It will flash for a few moments, and then when it goes back to solid red glowing, you're safe to remove your SD card and plug it into your computer. But that's it! Once you've removed the SD card from 4K60S Plus, you're ready to plug it into your computer and start editing your beautiful 4K60 HDR content or your 1080p SDR content, whatever you decide. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and until our next video, good luck and have fun.